Me at Man City, what, where's, where's, where's Jack Grealish? Mm. Was that 100 million? He's Jack not even injured, is he? Nah. No. What's going on with Grealish, bro? Is All it, that money, is, boy, man can't get first team. Is it the nightlife? Manchester nightlife, sweet to me. He was there to take over right. from Sterling, bro. He was there to take over from Sterling and Sterling just come back and just, you know what I mean, locked him off, man. You know what I'm saying? Try all right. Try all right. I've been very impressed with him because I think everybody... People forget like what he can do, and I think I think a bit rude with him to be to be fair. Mm. Because I remember the season we he's going on with absolute terror at Wolves. Club was after him. All kinds of people were after two him. seasons ago in the year. Oh, yeah, he didn't have a, he, 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 he's no end product. He's, if he weren't crossing, Jimenez weren't scoring. Well, Jimenez was injured. That's when, when Jimenez dried yeah, up. Yeah, when Jimenez dried out, out, he, was out, he, he kind, he, of, kind he, of lost his lost way. He had no yeah. one to, to eat it up to. That's it, correct. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Affinity Extra. Be extra. The views and opinions expressed in this podcast are personal and do not necessarily represent the views of Affinity Extra. Yo, 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 people. This is your boy here. Watch more on Affinity Extra. We're to celebrate gospel music about our and we're here to do an amazing ham- action pack. One hour, we're going to recover from the from the uh, the Rumblows Cup. We had the Rumblows Cup yesterday, um, and then we, um, oh, you know, what I'm saying, you know, it's <laughs> it's so rude, isn't it? it's so rude. rude. It's the Rumblows Cup. Uh, no, it's the Carabao Cup. Stop it's, going like you don't know what it's called. What, what, no, in disrespect. What, what's it the Costa Coffee Cup? Okay, because cool. it's uh, Liverpool have won. Liverpool have won. Liverpool have won would so I have so? Would I have disrespect? <laughs> Coming through again, as per usual. Listen, guys. Roger would, the would, red. Would, would Roger I, the red. What, what, Can't angle it. That what, Liverpool have been a, have got listen, a bit of success around the corner. You know what? So we will get. We will we, we'll break down the Carabao Carabao Cup um, final in a bit. Anyway, still yeah. Um, I want to touch base about Serie A because there's an amazing thing going going on in Serie A because I do think something's about to change up in Serie A. Also, I feel that you know. Nothing um, changing. The usual. Yeah, oh, yeah, God's yeah. coming on to Bruce, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't forget you've had to do this. Come on, this is yeah, Juventus yeah. for talking, you know. You say, man's, man's obviously giving everyone a hint where, where, what angle's going to go. In. Also, you know, um, um, I don't know if Auntie's been um, keeping up with um, a Bang Yang um, um, in um, Barca. He, of course, he, bro. He, you of say, course, Mark, you know. think because he's left Arsenal. Aubameyang's my striker from a long time. time you from say. way before Arsenal days. But it, literally, twisted. and I have to say this, guys, I, I might just go flip straight into this about, about, about Barcelona. Now, let's let's, let's let's kick it off. Barcelona, guys, yeah? Now, let, let's be real, yeah? Barcelona was tiki-taki football, yeah? That's all we know. Tiki-taki football between Arsenal and Barcelona. Tiki-taki football, they just pass, pass, pass. The pass is death, yeah? Xavi is the tiki-taki football of the year, uh, of, of the decade, of, of two decades, no, of the decade, yeah? Now, everybody expected this guy to come into the club and reintroduce tiki-taki football. But what he's gone and done, he's gone back to the old days of Barca. Ronaldo, one of the, you know me, with some power to got some, yo, I need some brothers in here, man. I need, I need you know me, mm. yo, and I need some power, I need some pace, I need some pure finishing, yeah? And I must say, they look like a total different team. It's true, the bang yang's coming at team. And I'm just have to salute them two brothers for transforming the team. That they, they had the young youth coming through who keeps on getting injured. Oh, I can't believe I forgot his name. Um Fatty. Oh no, yeah. Fatty, in fact, Fatty, Fatty, Fatty. I think um Dempsey mm. is if we but we all know he flatters to deceive. He's a good player, but he flatters to deceive. But these Ooh. um Ooh. um Dempsey, not Dempsey. Dembele. Uh, Dembele. The, the, no, the pie. The pie and them, oh. the pie, the pie and um and and um Dembele, they just they're there, they're, you know what I mean. But try always coming there like it's come back home to sh- to means business. And a bang is just do my bang doing what he does best, putting a ball in the back of the net. And you know the joke was, you know what annoys me, guys. I have to say, I was watching ESPN and the term manager says, oh, he only can play against defenses that have a high line. I think you don't disrespect the man like that still, you yeah, know what I'm saying? That's, that's yeah, the, 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 and, yeah. and the guys had to show the goal against Valencia when it was past one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And when, um, and when they got, it was like a, a, a goal from just on the, uh, in the line. But Abanyan can score any goal. He's proved it in the last three games. Listen, every type of goal he's scored. Oh, but a different gravy. Always has been a different gravy. You know yeah. what I mean? He's a, he's a different gravy. For what he does, you see, people think 
oh, Bamian, you can't do, you can't hold it. He's not, you don't buy a Bamian to hold the ball up. You he's, if you're looking for that kind of striker, he's mm. not your man. Mm hmm. He's not mm. your man. He's a gunslinger, man. He's a gunslinger. Okay. Man. Okay. Okay. Gunslinger. Okay. Gunslinger. Yeah. Gunslingers. That's what you call them kind of games. Harry Kane now can drop off, do a bit, bit of the fair play, fair play to him. Different mm. kind of player. Haaland, the same. Haaland now. Can Haaland? Can he? Can he create his own goal? I haven't seen him do that. Where like Mbappe now. Mbappe's on the wing. You think? Four players around you can't do anything. Whoop, 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 bang, go. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the kind of, you know, you buy what, you, what you're looking for. Mm. You, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like Lewandowski, Lewandowski's the next one. You don't expect him to be all dropping up 50 yards to play a 50 yard pass over to his bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not Lewandowski. Yeah. Well, give him the round the, the 20 yards, 18 yeah. yard box, 20, 25 yards. He's banging. That's Aubameyang. Mm. Aubameyang in. Holding up ball and running, play off the left. He can play off the left and come in and do what he's doing. Nothing surprises mm. me. Him scoring at Barcelona, no surprises for me whatsoever. I would have been more surprised if he didn't score. Listen, bro. To be quite honest, he's because he, if you can score in the Premiership, bro, you can go anywhere and score. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because it's defensively, it's more harder. Whereas them kind of, you know, you don't have to breathe on a forward in Spain. You get a free kick or a penalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, 100%. You know you be I mean? breathing a defender as well. You know what I mean? <laughs> you breathing yeah, yeah, yeah. a defender that um, can die. Traore, Traore, I, I, I've been very impressed with him because I think everybody, people forget like what he can do. And I think I've been a bit rude with him, to be, to be fair. Mm. Because I remember the season, we, he's going on with absolute terror at Wolves. Club was after him. All kinds of people were after Two him. seasons no, ago, in it, yeah. Oh, yeah. He didn't have a, he, 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 he's no end product. He's, if he weren't crossing, Jimenez weren't scoring. Jimenez was injured. That's when, when Jimenez dried yeah, up. Yeah, when Jimenez dried, out, he, was out. He kind of lost his lost way. He had no yeah. one to, to eat it up to. That's it, correct. Yeah, yeah. Kind yeah. of thing. So yeah. he lost his way with that sense. Yeah. But Traore, frightening, bro. If, if Tottenham were serious, Tottenham have lost Mr. Trick there. Tottenham well, did, to be fair. The last as two a players, man. Team, the Mr. Trick, man. The last two years as well. Wanted to play him at right wing back. Who are you? Come on, who do you think you are? <laughs> I don't understand that though, bro. I've been watching Marcus. Marcus is playing centre half all season, so I want to buy Marcus and then say Marcus wants to come to the club, but I want to play right back. Mm. That makes sense. You can, cover, you can cover right back, but um, now and again, if we go down to text matter men, but there's nothing else. <laughs> I think Barcelona will be signing him on a permanent. I think they'll, they'll keep him. Who's that? Um, Trioli. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah. Do you think he's more being? He's, he looks more in. He, Dembele even scored the other day as well. Still, yeah. Um, and Dembele, I yeah. think I want to stay now because Aubameyang's there. He's bridging. He's bridging from Dortmund days. Oh yeah. Um, you would, you, I mean? would you? Would you? If he's Arsenal, would you keep him? He's always trying to sniff him over to Arsenal at the beginning. Yeah. But the thing is, would, 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 the thing would, is, Dembele didn't want to leave though, did he? Because I mean, from what you were no, saying, he, he always just wanted want to stay. Arsenal tried to push him out. Yeah, they're trying to force him to take a pay cut and all that. He's not, he's not having a buy of it. But who would pay him that money, though? Barcelona. Well, so I think, I think, I think he was always worth that money when he first, when he first, his name started getting in. Like, well, I think he was worth that money. But the problem that he's had is that he's got Jack. Um, he's got Jack. Yeah, he's, he's, been, in, he's been injured too much. <laughs> and you know when you see go to a team like Barcelona, you're paying that money. Yeah, <laughs> they expect like certain like res you know results for, for what they pay for. They, they expect certain you know things to be seen on the pitch. Now this season, you know, he's starting to show. But in Barca's eyes, well, we we bought you how long ago now? And it's only now you're trying to come into in, into your own. I mean, you can't really say too much. I mean, injury is injury. There's nothing you can do about that. But mm. the point still remains. That they, need to, they paid all this yo, money. They, they need to um, get him on a uh, um, African diet, bro. Some talk, some um, you know, some yam jalap, chips, man. Yam chips and chicken, jalap, 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 yam, yam chips and chicken, man. Yeah, man. Plantain, yeah, man. Plantain, yeah. Plantain <laughs> and, and all the rest of it because he's marga bad blood. Yeah, he needs he's to yam. Marga bad. And if you get him, if uh, why he thinks he can come to the Premiership like that, he's <laughs> done me. <laughs> <laughs> beyond me bro because if you think oh. you can come to the premiership and go the only geezer who can stay skinny like that and watch that geezer at Liverpool number 23 baller that's all I'm saying mm. baller is that Diaz big baller yo 
Yeah, yeah, bro. He's, he's fire, bro. He's straight up. Baller, bro. Fire. Baller. And Baller. Tottenham wanted Baller. him as well. One thing I'll say about Diaz, yeah, that goes to prove a point. That, like what we were saying, what I kind of mentioned in previous ones, is that when you're a quality player, you don't need to come to the Premiership and take a season to <laughs> to warm up before you start playing. You understand you just come me, my Mm. Yeah, thing, fam. But the thing is, See, bro, but, but the this thing is what we're saying. But man's the, come from foreign. He's a foreigner himself. He's come from foreign, and he's a da- straight whoop. Hit the ground running. You you mm. you think he's there all season? Two years ago, the way he's hit the ground running, yeah. he, he don't even like. You just look at him. He's just it's, 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 no it's, nonsense, bro. That's what I'm saying. Quality, man. You just you, mm. but, but, but going bro, back to Barca though, bro. Going back to Barca though. Yeah, the form that they're in. Yeah. I, you don't think they can beat Real Madrid? Don't get it gas, bruv. Listen, Alain Madrid, do, do you, not. But Real Madrid's not, not in a good space right now. I'm not saying Real Madrid won't win the title, but I'm saying that Melby is not in the greatest space right now. In two weeks' Who? time, Real Madrid, Who? Real Madrid. They're not, they're not, not they're not, not, not the best. Bruv, this is, listen, this is Real Madrid. If they lose the champion, get knocked out the champion is what? Who's won it more than them? No one. Mm. Do you think they care? Ancelotti might lose his job, might mm. do, mm-hmm. but that's just the pressures of Real Madrid. But it's not, no, don't get it twisted. It's not, no, uh, it's end of an year. I think personally, I think Madrid need to lose one of them because if they keep winning, like, like yeah, 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 yeah. Then players are going to, they're, they're just not going to know when to just palm them off. Them players need to change. The guard needs to change now. Mm. You know, you got to bring you Mbappe, the, the, the beginning of the new school. Mm. So you got Al, Alba's there already, the defender. Melito is there. Got um, Mendy. You, you, you got to get rid of the people like the Modric. Oh yeah, Modric. Yeah, 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 yeah. Phase yeah, them, them out. out. Yeah, yeah. players have to phase out. Yeah. Don't yeah. know who you got. You got that Card of Villa. The youth is going to come true. Mm. The French youth. Um, but who knows if Pogba ends up there? You don't know. Wow. You that's know. The point, I think so, yeah. Madrid need to mix it up now. They need to change the guard kind of thing. Mm. For me, for me anyway. Yeah, because I think I mean, with that, this goes back to the point that you were saying, Rod, about you mm. know, people looking at um, Xavi and thought that he was going to come in and bring that ticket attack of football back to Barca. But there's two things I'll say about that: is that one, any club, it doesn't matter when it, it was back in the day or now, the style of football you play is very much based on the players that you've got. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't yeah. go and play no fast-paced f- um, football if all your man them are slow. <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to use what you've got and the quality of. Iniesta, Xavi, Busquets, and their man in their prime year, right? You can really play you, I mean, you see this thing that Pep's doing now um, with Man City not playing a striker. I've seen Barca do that for for time, time? for yeah. time. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't it's, it's nothing Spanish new. He, he, yeah. Obviously, he 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 learned it from 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 Barca, yeah, and he's mm. brought it over there. Mm. But I've seen Barca do that in games where Xavi and Iniesta um, were doing their thing in the midfield, yeah, and then they had. You know, other man um, just playing like uh, the attacking mids, moving no, out and out striker. So it's not nothing new. But I think what's interesting is that Xavi is being bold enough to say, you know what, I'm going to play a very different style of football using what I've got there, and it's working. And like like Ant said, if Real Madrid do the same thing, then I think we'll begin to see a new era of the whole Barca Real Madrid dominance. Yes, correct. Again, yeah, correct. Yeah, because I think. Right now, yeah, right. Even though they're still very much the, the, the top team in the league, I still season after season believe that it's an open league much more than it used to be, mm. and where you when the next team could come in and fall in and and do a job. But the way things are going now, Jerry's developing the team, and if you see uh, Real Madrid bringing Pogba and Mbappe, maybe one twelve man, or even like there was rumours of them bringing Mbappe and Harlem. You know, what I'm saying that that would be a sick, yeah, yeah that would yeah, be yeah, a yeah, sick yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think you know that kind of combination. Even if the old guys are staying now, because like you bring Pogba in, I think he'll do a good job alongside man like Tony Cruz mm. and whatnot. Mm. Um, but I think yeah, if the right managers make the right choices. We could be seeing another um, rise of the, of the Barcelona Real Madrid dominance. Yeah. You know, what, what you expect them to do no, but no, um, yeah no. it'll be interesting to see I, I, right now in, in this era I can't call between Barca and Real Madrid in terms of who's going to do because like, I think there's 
certain things changing slowly with both of them mm. we can go either way but Barcelona are showing that they're, they're on a, in a good place that's, that's, that's good stuff listen guys I'm going to flip out straight to Serie A now the reason why I have to go to Serie A because you know um, it's uh, I, I love Serie A from when um, Gazetta football was on um, I don't know if Marcus you remember that there back in the day Gazetta yeah, football yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Is it, was, it, was it Saturday what time was it on Saturday um, it was um, I'll show you it's it, evening but, didn't it nah Saturday afternoons man afternoons about Saturday morning, what, 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 Saturday Saturday morning, morning that's Gazetta, 11 is, 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 yeah, yeah. I used to watch it on my mum's TV o'clock. yeah 10 o'clock was it early man yeah I used to watch it on my mum's TV you know what I'm saying it used to be 10 oh, o'clock on a Saturday and live game on a Sunday afternoon yeah 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 yeah, yeah. loved it loved it but listen um I must admit, Inter Milan, AC Milan, and Napoli have been playing some some different game right now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So for me, um, I'm like, what is going on now? And then all of a sudden, in the background, Juventus has made one purchase. No, what? No, made a two purchases. Um, Jugovic and uh, i believe the guys um Z- Z- zachary zakira Z- Z- zakara or oh, well, yeah, that's his name and mm-hmm. they've made a massive difference to juventus and the problem is guys i everyone was talking about napoli scoring but they didn't impress me you know what i'm saying it's it's the way that jukovic his finishing is ridiculous in the box Ooh. um it is um is it jukovic his name you 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 rich the, the um the, 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 event, the event event striker, striker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Vlaovic. Nah, it's not Vlaovic. Is it Vlaovic? Let me check that. There is some Vlaovic from, 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 from Fiorentina. From Fiorentina. Why am I saying Jokovic? Yeah, again, <laughs> what, what? Marcus. I thought you were trying to say Jokovic for a minute. I was thinking, well, why are you saying Jokovic? That's what I'm asking him here. Who are you on about? That's what I have to ask because I don't know. Sir, I've been watching about. pure football today. So I've been watching pure Jokovic's and Dukovic's. So what are you saying? So I'm, I'm saying that the, the evil way. Vlavic, do some Vlavic. Do some Vlavic. Okay, do some Vlavic. He's been doing total bits. His finishing is, is, is for me, quite immense. You know what, yeah? With the Italian league right now, I like what's going on there because I think any league is always better when you see you've got three, four teams banging things. You know what I'm saying? I would love to see the Prem one season, yeah, where you've got five, six men challenging for the league again, like back in the day. Do you know what I'm saying? That would be absolutely sick where for the whole season, every game is just a bang every on, game is on the edge of the yeah, 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 You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, um, yeah. I'm, those are the days where I used to watch match of the day because I know I'm going to watch all the games because, you know, there, there was always one banging one that I would need to watch. But nowadays, it's like mm-hmm. obviously I, I watched all the other teams here, but I only really keep an eye on Liverpool, Chelsea, and C in terms of the title. Yeah, but I would love to be able to say, you know what? Yeah, one season. It's not even about you know people not even talking about the top four year, right? Because everybody's trying to get that top spot. <laughs> but when, when did that ever happen, though, bro? So when, I think when, that's the good thing about Italy right now. They got some banging teams doing some bits. Yeah, um, and yeah. I think with one or two additions to a couple of them teams as well. I think the competition will be like what we used to have seen in Serie A back in the day where you had Inter, Mil- Milan, and them man banging off. You, you know, and those are the days where like, even like Palma and Fiorentino were big teams. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 so yeah, I would yeah. love to see that. Bad deal. Yeah, man. It's, sorry, guys, forgive me. It is Dusan Vlaovic. My bad. Anyway, so, but either way, he's top goal scorer in Serie A. And, uh, and uh, he, he he's banging goals. And I just love the way he's, he's so composed in the box. And there are, f- there are seven points from the top. Um, Juventus are and uh, and Inter AC. I'm not convinced by AC. I love AC, but I'm not convinced about them. Yeah, you know, they, 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 they got a, yeah, they, I know what you mean by AC. You can get at them if you catch them on the right, that you can get at them. It, it, it's like, I and mean, when you got these teams that you never heard of in your life, like Sassuolo, that's just causing people problems every single game. You've got, uh, you see, what's happening in Italy is what happens in the Premiership, the, it, the small teams. Starting to get money generated because mm. of whatever's going on. Yeah, yeah. And they're, they're starting to buy quality, so they're catching up. That, mm. yeah. that that gap that everybody thought there was before or there was has has shrunk. Yeah, considerably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Considerably, because that Satsuolo, 
I'm sure their geezer, one of their geezers played for Italy in the Euro Championships, won, mm. won the trophy. Yes, yes, and yes. You, and, you, uh, yeah. and you wouldn't think a, yeah. a, a player from a small club like Sassuolo would be in the Italian squad. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, not at all. You know it's what I mean? So, so from, from that, I think it's getting to that stage where the small teams are catching up. Like anybody can be anybody because on the day, like you said, just getting to that mm. stage. Anybody can be, be in, anybody. until yeah. go to the bottom team and lose. And you got Roma, Roma, Roma can't even. I don't know what they're doing, bro. And they still, they, 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 they're kind of only two wins, two. I think they're about only about two wins away from um, Juventus. It's ridiculous, bro. You know what I'm saying? It shows you how poor start Juventus had. But either way, um, but Anthony. Yeah, but they brought back, they brought back the manager, and they brought back Maximilian himself, bro. The man who orchestrated. So if anybody's gonna win, he's the man. He's gonna mm-hmm. fix it up. Well, he gave you a chance with PLO. PLO flopped, you know, and whoever else after that, they flopped it. So yeah. this is what happens. They bring back Maximilian, yeah. and then he's just come back and he's doing his thing. Allegri doing mm-hmm. his thing, bro. Mm-hmm. If anybody can, Allegri mm-hmm. can. Juventus have been there, done it, got the t-shirt. They know about the pressures, um, and I think, as he says, the gunman Vlaovic, the gunman, the, like, the new gunslinger in town. He, he's got composure. He looks like he knows what he's doing. With him, Moise Keane chipping in. Dybala still there, you know. And your boy Morantes. Who? <laughs> Morata. Morantes, you know. Morata. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with this geezer? No, no it, serious, bro. I got a pure, <laughs> I, 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 I watch. I watch so much of that. Morantes, like the Real Madrid <laughs> player, bro. Like what? <laughs> Is it, is it, guys, it's a problem when you record podcasts after a long day and watching absolutely tons of YouTube videos on football. You see so many names watching all the... Um, bro, that is, not, is that, that is a poor excuse, bro. <laughs> That's a poor excuse, man. You're supposed to know your history and all knowledge. Bro, I know, man. Videos. Yo, bro, take time, my take time. But, but either way, no, 100% Juventus can do, but I do feel that Pepe Inzaghi will get, get, will get sacked if he, if he flops his. Mm-hmm. Uh, Inter's manager? Yeah. Because he's made no, decisions. Okay. Because he's he, he's well, been in position. Yeah, he's been in position. Yeah, but then things happen. Man, you can't say that. Flipping up, one of the greatest managers of all time, Alex Ferguson, at the thirteen point lead and lost the league title. If listening to you, would you sack him? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying what what the coach in Italy is. You know what they all, you know, the, the, the interco the intercoaching them behind the dumb ramp. You know what I'm saying? You know the whole, the whole, you know if you don't you don't deliver you get sacked, man. They feel no way. They'll have I four I many. Think, I don't think they're in that. I don't think they're they're like that anymore because there's not that many great managers coming through for them to for them to do that. Mm. Mm-hmm. So think, if they sack Inzaghi, who they're gonna go? Well, they might think, okay, we're gonna bring back Antonio Conte, give him some money this time. Mm. Yeah, and do that. Who knows? Because that's what they'll probably do. So, but there's not no many great managers coming through now. Yeah. Really. yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I hear, I hear. Like the day Pochettino, that, uh, but Pochettino's going Premiership when he leaves France. Yeah, and he got, he, you remember the days... He's going to manage that dead club in Manchester. <laughs> yeah, manage that club. Eh? We'll, we'll, we'll see about that, man. And he's going to manage that dead club in Manchester. <laughs> dead club, dead manager with a dead manager equals more death. <laughs> you understand? A- we so we'll, 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 we'll finally get sorted out. But we'll, before we even go into stuff, man, um, in terms of um, Premier League, we have to do a review of the um, the the Carabao Cup, or for the retro guys, we know as the Milk. Is it Milk Cup? Is it Milk Cup back in there, Anthony? Was it Milk? Yeah, Milk yeah. Cup. Milk Cup. Rumbelow's Cup. Cup, Cup. Yeah, my Coca-Cola. Cup. Yeah, Cola, man. Cola, Cup. The Heineken Cup. Yeah, man. <laughs> Red Star, the Red Stripe Cup. <laughs> Bennett <laughs> Super Cup. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hennessy Club. Uh, the Ryan Nephew Cup. The <laughs> Hennessy Cup. <laughs> It's a no one. Now, guys, just want a quick feedback. I'm with, oh, I want to I go in on the Mendy decision anyway. So, but either way, it was a decent game, more of a decent game, and I did feel that. You know, I do think I did say in the group. Um, we mentioned before the podcast that you know about Mount. I think he is like the golden boy for England. He can do no wrong, but he missed two guilt edge chances to score on his shoulder. Bro, I'll be honest with you. If I'm a Chelsea player. Mason, the dressing room after the game, man's going to have to pull me back from him and that. Mm-hmm. Just being honest because I'm saying, bro, 
you might as well go and play for Liverpool next. That's what I'm that, that'd be my talk anyway. Like, Yo, are you on a, have they promised you a trial or something? Mm-hmm. How did you miss them? How did you miss them chances, bro? Yeah, sure. The one you didn't even you didn't even make the goal to save it from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, for real. For real, it's it's like really poor, poor, poor finishing. You know what I'm saying? And then um and 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 you know for oh, me. I gotta laugh. I gotta laugh. I gotta laugh. Sorry. You've got. God. And, and for, um, um, but again, you know, uh, there, w- there was one stage when Chelsea was all over them, and all of a sudden, uh, um, Liverpool come back. And as we said already, man, that 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 Leon, um, what's his name, Diaz, that Diaz, you man, he's just, he's just, he's just, this is not fair. But the thing is, I still wonder why did they take off Mane? Mane wasn't really doing it. nothing, though. It wasn't he wasn't really doing much. Wasn't yeah. doing much. In. What's Salah time, doing? What, what, what's Salah doing? Nations brother caught, caught up with him. Was Salah doing you know anything? What, I mean? what did Salah do all game? Oh, Salah, Salah still Salah looks more like a threat. He, he, he may not have like scored and stuff like that, but he still looked more of a threat when he was on the ball. I think. I think I mean, it was one of those things that because Mane wasn't really doing anything. I'm, I'm talking about in terms, even in terms of a, the attacking threat, he wasn't really giving much. Whoever he brought in to swap wouldn't have been any worse than Mane. And I don't say Mane had a bad game as such, but he wasn't doing anything to say you know if we keep him on. He's guaranteed to help us to win the to win the game, so that's the way I see it. Hmm. Nah, I, I, I think it's. I, I find think. it. I find it really hilarious that Roger is in it in here talking about missing chances <laughs> and Man United a nil nil at home with Watford, well, 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 creating well, twenty odd well, chances, bro. And I mean, you you've putting that on your basket. Listen, Rodgers v- 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 <laughs> tried to, to to make some comments in the group while the game was going on. L- but L- as far as I know, Liverpool have now won more trophies oh. this season. Yeah, yeah, right. That's not even finished than United have done in the past five years. Okay, right, well, guys. Let me just get a closure. We, we're dealing with the, the the cup now, and I'm here to to constructively <laughs> break down the cup. And as far as I'm concerned, in in in, in, in the cup final, um, I felt like. Um, uh, I, I feel like Liverpool there was a part in the first half where they were creating actually decent chances and you have to salute Mendy he made a, a blind ever save um, um, I think they said that Mane should have um, gone higher but to be honest I don't know what you guys think um, he did the exact right thing ping it he pinged it you know what I'm saying so he did the right thing man you know what I'm saying so I don't know what you're saying Marcus what, what are you talking about? Uh, Mane, uh, Mane, Mendy's double save. Mendy's double save. Would, would so Mane have scored? Yeah, I, I think when he did it, my first thought, in fact, wasn't even like he should have pinged it over him. My first thought is was the way the defender was also coming in alongside me doing that. Mane could have, hit, have even pulled it back like a quick step back here right, and gone to the um, bottom right corner. Mm. because the, they were both coming full pelt yeah, and if he, he switched it there was no way they was going to turn and get back in time yeah, so yeah. that was my fault um, but again I think if, if regards to what we say about Mane what we have to give credit to is the top quality um, goalkeeping that Mendy was doing I think yeah. Mendy was putting off some blind in the stops yeah man um, which is why I thought it was just a big disrespect the fact <laughs> Matt got taken off it was Whoa. crazy um, but I mean, I, I, I kind of said it jokingly earlier, but um, I expected Liverpool to win. And that's not just because of being a Liverpool fan. I think based on our current form, um, and I just thought, yeah, I, I mean, I, I said it many times before, right now I don't feel there's a team in the world that Liverpool can't beat. Um, so I just, I expect us to come away with a cup. Even, you know, even when it went to extra time, I had no fears or anything else. My only worries was actually penalties because I was thinking I wasn't sure how good Kelleher was going to be um, in goal but yeah, in terms of everything else mm. I was calm I, I don't know about what you saying about the Mendy situation Anthony you know what I'm saying were you like I, 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 don't, I, I think it's pathetic personally I just don't agree with it. I don't see you know why you bring in the keeper just for pen, specialised penalties you're a goalie <laughs> you're a goalie you're supposed to be able to save penalties yeah so there's no specialised nothing. It's part of your job, mm. you know. And so if I I'm, just if think, I'm correct, didn't Mendy do a good job with penalties in the African Cup of Nations? Bro, bro yeah, I'm just going to say that. Bro, he won the final that. against the specialists. At the end of the mm. day, at the end of the day, could he have done any worse than Kappa? Kappa didn't save one. He didn't save one penalty. So mm. could he have done any worse than that? No, he couldn't have. I just think Tuchel was trying to style it out when there's no, there's no. He's trying to style it because what's happened. 
Kepa's played like I think in order because he's the yeah. number two. He plays in order, but then put my man in the final. So mm-hmm. he's trying to give him where like Klopp did the, the right thing. Started my man says he's been here all season. He's playing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas Tuchel's done that even with the club championship thing. I think Kepa played in the the semi final and that, and then yeah, brought my man back for yeah, the final. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think he does that. So what he's really saying is, Tuchel's really saying, my man's my number one, but I'll give you a blow when I can here and there. Yeah. Mm. And I, it's one of those. But but I to mean, do but to do it in a shootout, bro. And and the thing is, Kepo was getting taken off. And you know what? I wanted Chelsea to win. But he's done, uh, he's done it before. And yeah. Won, so it's, it's one of those, isn't it? It's, it's worked before. You know so, what, though? My, my thing is, it, even for keepers, it's the same thing as it is for um, outfield players. If you bring a guy on in the last two minutes for the sake of penalties, yeah, right? He's not going to get warm. He's not he's stretched. Not warmed up he's not like warm up. Nothing he's not like that. You know what I'm especially for a keeper, you've got to be able to bounce left, right, and centre like non stop. It's different when you just go around to the ball and place it. He's got to be able to bounce and react and whatnot. And I think the warmth and doing that for the game, yeah, makes you more ready on penalties in general than anything else. And I think that Mendy probably would have saved one or two of those penalties. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I totally agree. I just think it's just a total insult. You know, what I mean, I think, I think, um, when did Kepa become um, a specialist at penalties? I do not know. Um, he was getting taken Bro, off. It was you don't taken... see him in training every day, though. Yeah, but, the, but the thing is, uh, but the, the thing is, what I find as well is, but two seasons ago, he was getting dry enough to pitch. Was it two, three seasons ago, because he wasn't good enough at penalties. You know what I'm saying? So for me, you know, it's, it's, I, I hear what he's saying, man, but Mendy just proved that he got to the African Nations Cup of the final and he made a crucial save in the, in the final against Egypt, who were specialists in taking penalties. They were busting up everybody on penalties, but they come, come up. And well, it, it all goes around, anyway, because like I said, you know, if it was down to me, Kepa would even be a Chelsea player because from that one disrespect, sorry, listen, next yeah. day, yeah, right, you're gone. <laughs> gone, mate. Yeah. I don't. I don't care if I have to pay pay the end of your contract. I don't want you on my team. Anyone that can do a disrespect like that here, yeah, right? I need to show my team here, yeah, right? You, we can't get rid of them stuff. He won't never came on the pitch in it that time. He, come he, off, he never come, he off. come off. He never came off in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He never came off. That, that, that's definitely a crazy one. Anyway, so, but overall, it's a great game, guys. You know what I mean? The penalties. I've never seen anything like that in in um in in a cup final in, in England. Anyway, mm-hmm. still going going that far into it. But you have to say it was a fantastic penalty by Kepa. He actually yeah. did, he actually did a goal kick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's shaped yeah. like a goal kick. It looks like, bro, don't you do outfield training? You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it was, uh, it's definitely, I thought it's Spanish or something where they where got, got, got that techniques going on. But, uh, you, you know, I have to say, yeah, right. Cause obviously we, we talk a lot about, you know, black players and, and you know, black circumstances, yeah, right. It goes to show you the, that, you know, exactly where we are in this world now, where man could sit down be enjoying his watching his football year and when he gets the penalty you just start warming for the black players that's a mad thing bro you know what I'm saying yeah yeah yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm literally sitting there and I'm worried for every black man that steps up to the ball yeah. solely because I know that if you see his team losing he's missed what's coming next do you know what I'm saying oh and yeah I, I was, I was thinking I was th- who was I thinking that about I was thinking about is it contact the um the um the your, your, your defender when I saw him go up, I was like, oh, snap, man. Like, because mm. he looked like gentle giant man thing. I was like, oh, gosh, can he can he, can he take one? Mm. And even for Chelsea, man, some of the, uh, you know, the Wee's... Uh, uh, yeah, Chelsea, I was scared for, for Chalabar because I think them other oh, man yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, demanded yeah. a certain level of respect already, like Rudiger, Kante, whatnot. But, but Chalabar, I think he would have got it worse. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. If it was him, but... Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, one thousand best. But listen, Marcus, we salute you, bro. You won the um, the the, the Carabao Cup and um and um by penalties. It's after business that. as usual, man. It's all good. About business as usual, man. You know, <laughs> say. A, you know what I mean? So um, no, definitely well done on that anyway. So yeah, so no, big up for that one anyway. So so now we go into what's happening in the in in the in in the Premiership. Um, okay, so I have to say we 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 had a good debate. Um. Who's coming forth from first and third and less show? I've had bare responses to um to what to what what I would say is Marcus's predictions <laughs> about Arsenal being third. Yeah. But Anthony I, I, I stand by my prediction, man. And you know what? If you look at the last um couple of games or last two, three games that Man City have played, they've been looking kind of suspect, you know. Because Everton brought their man to eight 82nd minute and like they were lucky that that should have 
been a handball um, for Everton to get a penalty in the box. That was a penalty for me. Was that handball? For me, the, you know, that was a blame handball. That game should have ended 1 1, definitely. Oh, what's the game? You're, you're muted, Ant Man. That's a penalty I'm looking at all day long if that's the Arsenal. Mm. <laughs> telling you straight, bro. <laughs> telling you straight. You know what I mean? Charles, um, Man City have got away with that one. Mm. But nah. the big question for me at Man City is what, where's, where's, where's Jack Grealish? Mm. Was that 100 million? He's, he's not even injured, is he? Nah. No. What's going on with Grealish, bro? Is All it, that money, is, boy. Man can't get first team. Is it the nightlife? Manchester nightlife is reaching him. He was there to take over right. from Sterling, bro. He was there to take over from Sterling and Sterling just come back and just, you know what I mean, locked him off, man. You know what I'm saying? He's Sterling out of contract this season. Yeah. Yeah. Where can you go back to Liverpool? No. See, this is this is the thing, yeah, right? When I, and I'm not saying Jack Grealish is a rubbish player, but this is the thing. Grealish came from a team that nothing nothing much was expected from, and he was the main no guy. No pressure. No you pressure. You know what I'm saying? Sterling's played at Liverpool. He's played at Man City. So even if he goes through a patch where you know he's thinking, we know that he's shown on that level. He can he, he can bring the game. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Grealish has to be proven. He hasn't proven himself top level yet. Aston Villa, yeah, like everything goes through him. So even when he does his little piece of dribble, he, he automatically looks like a fantastic player. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but when, in a team where you've got other superstars which are always bringing their game here, you need to bring that every game. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? And I think when he first came, he had like maybe two decent games when he first come. But after that year, right, he started to show where like when you see man like Bernardo Silva and then man were on the ball more and, and doing more creative and he was the balls and coming to him, man was just like, missing in the games. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think Pep's got a plan for him because Pep would there's no way Pep would allow all that money to be spent on a player like Grealish if he hasn't got a plan to utilize it. But it'll be interesting to see what's going to happen. Remember, because... the same happened with Myers. If you remember when Myers first went to Man City, mm. took a season. It he didn't. Everybody thought, mmm, has he really, you know, but look, Morris is... Yeah. Gone on. Sterling was the same when you remember, Pep inherited Sterling. Mm. Mm. And everybody thought, would he cut it under Pep and the game went to another level? Everybody's improved. Nice. No more so than Bernardo Silva. Quality. Oh, bro. He's Quality just... in itself. Everybody talks about De Bruyne. But he's he's, no. he, he, he's he's quite he's, he's quite Bernardo very good. Silva. He's he, he's very good. How you um what got you know um you had um oh let's get let's get it out of the way. Man United anyway. So yeah, and that's these mellow. These guys don't come out on these shows anymore. But um, bro, the, I've noticed they let you take the flag. In. I know, I know, bro. You know what I'm saying. So you guys got to take it easy on me because you know I'm nah, getting back. Bro, uh, never, uh, never, it's, Satan it's, FC. It's, it's, Satan it's, FC. Uh, we don't. Uh, we don't we don't dwell with Satan. I struggled. I struggled. I must admit, I struggled to watch the highlights afterwards. Anyway, still yeah, because um, whatever. The but highlights that, of what? Man United's nil nil draw. There's no highlights, bro. It's nil nil. Bro, all I know <laughs> say is that it, again. I, I have to, after after say we straight without like I said, it lickers from the left hand side losing Greenwood. I think that um, I'm not condoning any of his actions, but I feel like he, he does always have like a goal in him. That get yourself mm. a, a, a goal and missing that natural goals. I have to salute Elanga for coming in. Um, he come close, but these are, these guys is coming through now. Um, and what's done us over as well. Rashford totally dead out of form. Totally dead out of form. This is not the Rashford of two three seasons ago. You know what I mean? He is so out of form. He should be now going right. There's not. You know what I mean? This, but I just He's don't not get out it. Of form. Do you know what it is? Go on. Then bon all you people who call me nigger and all that. Yeah, you think I seen your sheep's in wolf clothing, bro? <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Talk the thing, bro. I think, me personally, I think Marcus Rashford needs to move away from Old Trafford. That's what I think. But where to? No, no, no disrespect. I yeah. just think he needs to move from Old Trafford. I just, I think it's just, I just need, you know, sometimes you, you just grow up, you gotta leave you, you home. You leave home, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel, I feel. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes you gotta leave, you gotta grow up to grow up, you gotta leave home. And I think the that's thing is, some of these players are too scared to do that, especially when they see they're at a team like Man United. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like they almost feel like you know, if they're a top team like that, they have to stay. 
yeah, where yeah. sometimes you just need to like say to yourself, you know what, if I want to do better, if I want to get more opportunities, if I want to play on the international level properly, I need to leave here so that I can grow as a player. Because you're that's a why, top team, it doesn't mean you should stay there. That's why you got to rate a Jaden Sancho for doing what he did. And going to Bort Dorman. Yeah, doing what he did, put, gambling that new culture. Black people don't travel like that for joke anyway. Yeah. Let's yeah. be real. Yeah. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. for him to do that as well, and, and he excelled. Mm-hmm. He excelled. And, and, I mean, and, before and, he went to Dortmund, nobody heard of Jaden Sancho. Let's be real. True, true, true. No, very true. And you got Drew Bellingham's done the same as well. He's gone out there. That's because, so, yeah, of, yeah, that's yeah. because of Sancho. Drew Bellingham only done that move because of what Jaden Sancho, Sancho did. Dude, yeah, true. Very, very, very true. I think definitely Jaden you know showed it. Mean? Who is the Arsenal? There's an Arsenal kid that went out there a good few years back to Germany. Man. Was that Will? Did, was, was that Will? It was um, Rhys Nelson. Nelson. Did he, did he? Has he done all right out there? Was he just gone quiet? He came back and he came back and I think he's uh, um, where's he gone now? He's gone somewhere on loan. Yeah, man. But uh, but the thing is, the Dortmund, the the, uh, the Bundesliga is a very decent league to um to 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 kind of like um to to really bed yourself in anyway. Still, you know. So uh, very very interesting. But Man United at this rate, man, looks like Marcus is gonna be gonna be right with that um the Arsenal third thing anyway. Still, and 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 Chelsea. The, the problem the problem for United right now is you guys are struggling to win games, and the team below you are winning games. Winning games, yeah. So yeah. I mean, even even it must be Joe. Even Tottenham was starting to show a little bit of. Form in the last couple of games, um, I'm not worried about it. And if Conte can get these men playing, no, seriously, because don't forget, Tottenham, just like Arsenal, have games in hand over United. So if United don't fix up here, right, they're in trouble. But the thing Serious is, trouble. Yeah. But, 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 but Arsenal, but, Tottenham, West Ham. But, but, but Marcus, but, 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 Marcus, but, 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 I'm not worried about Spurs, mate, because the, as far as I'm concerned, you go and beat Man City, when you go and lose to, is it Burnley or something? I still yeah, the next day, you know what I mean? So for me, um, and even Conte's like, yo, it ain't no different than what United do. No, no, but, what, and, but, 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 play, but that's why I'm not worried about. We draw teams. But the thing is, we draw about mine teams. We don't lose to them, and Tottenham's been losing to them. So for me, I ain't not worried about now Tottenham. I'm more worried about Arsenal. Who's, who's Didn't you guys go lose to a team that wasn't even the Premier the other day? Mrs. Bro. Me, bro. Bro, don't be out of order like that, bro. You see what I'm talking about. Real talk, bro. You can't talk them talk, bro. You can't. That's hypocrisy. As Jesus says, he without sin. I, I, listen, you I'm, can't do that, bro. Come on, bro, man. Listen, you know the rules of the game, bro. I'm saying, I'm saying, I ain't worried about Tottenham. I'm more worried about West Ham and Arsenal. Why and are Wolves. you not worried about Wolves, Tottenham? And, no, think, no, no, do you no. know what, bro? I think Wolves have shown that they're not up for the fight, bro. They're not up for the fight, bro. Wolves. They're not up. For but it, they're, they're not playing any worse than United, though. That's the thing. No, they're not playing, they're playing any worse. Think, yeah, yeah. I just think like. You know, before these last run of games, I would say Wolves were right up there. They, they were quiet. Yeah. They were like Juventus, mm-hmm. quiet. Nobody checked them. Yeah. But when everybody started to look at, oh, Wolves are there now. Went to Arsenal, leading for the whole game, then lost. Yeah. Don't understand that. Won at Tottenham, granted. And then go somewhere else, West Ham and lose. I was just thinking them games against the teams in and around them. They're losing those games. Mm-hmm. They've lost to Arsenal. They've lost to West mm-hmm. Ham. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. they'll probably beat Man U because they beat them. I'm sure they went Old Trafford and beat them, didn't they? Yeah, yeah we went, went so. to Old Trafford. We, we, I think we beat them at their place earlier in the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. So, yeah, beat, beat, beat beginning of the season. But. So, I, I think it's that. But, I mean, with what Marcus said, I mean, as I said, I didn't want to get gassed on the day and I still won't get gassed now. But I just want to say, three games with Man United. Two points behind with three games in hand. Bro, you better hope. You better hope around there. You better hope. <laughs> wow, you better hope because if it's not one London team, it's going to be another London team. If Arsenal don't do it, West Ham going to do it. If West Ham don't do it, the sports are going to do it. Someone's mm. going to do it, bro. Oh. Them, them days back in the day, I used to like joke up my, my friends about um, teams only making it into the uh, I think it was called the, the Toto back in the day. <laughs> The that's, that's what you guys are looking yeah. for some Toto. Yeah. <laughs> some Toto cake, yeah, face dealer, right? Toto but the thing is, though, nice the thing is though, look at the money you like spent, right? And you're struggling. Oh, the, the, bro, bro, it's just absolutely, it's just total. I'd ho- no, bro, I totally bro, agree. Uh, uh, Rog, Rog, here's another question for you. Seriously, when are you going to see that Harry Maguire's poop? <laughs> no, no, when no, are you no, going to no, see? No, it, oh, I got No, no, right, seriously. Bro. 
Seriously, when are you going to see that he's poop? I don't understand, guys, how I get picked on about his homo guy. Can, he, can I because explain? You because can I explain myself? You said he was world class. I remember the argument. No, 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 no. I, I, I remember I, the I, argument. You said he was world class, I, bro. I, 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 you can get. You, you can, said he was world class, bro. Find the receipts. Find the receipts, bro. Find the receipts, bro. Find the receipts. Because I didn't say he's world class, but what I would bro, say. Bro, this is YouTube video, bro. Don't let me go search it, 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 <laughs> Search that. Search that, there, bro. Search it. <laughs> search that. And just, I'll sample mm-hmm. it and I'll quit myself. You know, but the thing is, for me, Harry Maguire, last season for Man United, um, until he got injured um, at the Villa, uh, um, we went away to Villa um, and he got injured um, and then we, we played him played without him against really, really well um, I, I thought that um, him um, he was crucial to us and then when we, when we played Villa in the final you could see that we missed him um, in, the, in our defence um, for England he him um, Shaw um, I'm not saying he was brilliant brilliant it wasn't just him but I, I thought he was part of a, a, a great England team they did it really well got busted by Italy but you know they did their thing um and then from that from that moment on a lot of the England players that play for Man United all the players that played for England in that final who come back to Man United have been awful Luke Shaw has been absolutely terrible yeah absolute when is it terrible bro terrible the Leeds goal yeah, and the back post, it got the ball goes past four or five Man United players. You know, Marcus, you play in defense as well, like me. Yeah, if you are the left back or right back, how on earth are you letting the winger to have a free shot? You know what I'm saying? Luke Shaw and against Liverpool, classic. He was getting mugged off against Liverpool, and he's always all over the place. You know what I'm saying? So you know, it I mean, seems the, like the point, I mean, Shaw's, Shaw's been there for for a while now it should be doing but better man like Maguire now mm. I, I look at it and I say to myself I think you know taking the joke probably aside mm. I think when it came to purchasing Maguire I think the, the, there was just too much fantasy in that because I think for the money that it was spent for him they wanted you could have got a whole much load yeah. better um, CBs I mean Ravan didn't cost you that <laughs> do you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah, yeah. and you've already got somebody that's 10 yeah. times better um, add another 20 mil to, to Maguire's transfer fee yeah, right? and you've got the money spent on Ma- Mane and Salah together <laughs> you know what I'm saying so it puts into perspective yeah. I'm do, wondering do, what, do, who's do, doing the scouting what, what, okay. at United, quite, is, is, big money's been played on yeah, players yeah, yeah, right? and these yeah. players not producing but the thing is Mark, Mark let's be real um, Kudabali was a bit cheaper than than, than that. You almost was quite, was asking for Kudabali something like 60 not too far off that yeah now yeah. Let's be real. Why didn't they go for Kudabali? They they put a put his picture up and they put the Maguire to to, to the purchasing agent. And this is which player are we getting? You know what I'm saying? And they look at it and go, we're going with Maguire because he looks the part. That's the reality of the show is because many Kudabali was there to be taken, yeah. But the problem mm. is Kudabali was in the same money, and I don't think people really trusted Kudabali. Yeah, and 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 and, and for me, Kuda Bali is proven that he's the best, the better baller. At least he's lift up um, a national, uh, international um, e trophy. He's doing, he's done, he's been solid for in the Italian league, which is defensively a certain way. You know, um, do you anything I can pull it down to? And um, you you're know, really trying to sell that. He's really trying to sell that Kuda Bali thing, isn't yeah? The, the thing is, maybe I, <laughs> I can put it down to you, and I, I might be wrong. But I think a lot of uh, uh, managers these yeah. days, when they're trying to buy uh, centre backs yeah. here, right? They're looking for centre backs which can do solid defending, but also have good passing. Um, and when that's you come, when you compare Koulibaly and Maguire, that's the only thing that Maguire has over Koulibaly is that he, I think he's a better passer with the ball. Distribution, yeah. distribution. Yeah. yeah. Um, and same thing with man like you know Van Dyke and some of the other MCBs, yeah, right? They they've got more to their game now than just being able to like be that solid defender. And I think that's the only thing I could think of regarding Maguire cool, because yeah, Maguire. Okay, cool. Maguire. Yeah, because yeah. but as a, as a, uh, I mean, it is going back to a debate we had on on another thing. If I buy a CB, all I want you to do is defend. If you can pass here, but I don't really care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want you to defend. That's all I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, just, but, just the basics. Do your job of, of what you're of the role of your title. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want. But the thing is, the, the problem is, is not even him as a player, as a defender. The, the thing is, is the captaincy issue. Yeah, and let's be real. When he went up and messed up abroad, yeah, 
he messed up and he busts up some people or whatever you've got a big argument yeah. yeah still yeah listen if you're Ferguson there still yeah bro you're losing the captain you can't captain the team and have yeah. that madness around you and whatsoever yeah. and they never really dealt with it they've done some backhanders covering up and whatever there and the end of the day still yeah with a team where it's at now you need a leader and they're all looking at Maguire yeah. and he's, they're literally looking at him going you he, he got no leadership skills let's be real and that's the yeah. problem is you've got to have a leadership you see when I see Van Dyke, he's the sort of mm. guy that you know when you're getting around like yesterday and they're getting the pressure on them you can go come on get it you know what I mean he's getting into them or whatever yeah. so, yeah. you, you so, guys for me only have three players right now which I would give that cap- captaincy to Maguire doesn't even come into that okay who would you um, say I'm talking, I'm talking about De, De Gea okay. Ronaldo and Cavani those are the only three men in that United team that I would give that captaincy to right now what about Fred? No, nah, joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. De- de- definitely, agree, definitely agree with that anyway. So yeah, but talking about moving on um, swiftly, actually, something that's come up I've just seen on my screen. Um, this whole um, um, B- Bielsa, um, he's been finally sacked. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Anthony, was you um, uh, shocked by that? No, <clears throat> but your cousin was hurt though. Nah, he wanted him out though. He did want him out, innit? I might have to drag him on the show one time, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, but to, you know, it's just, it's just, yeah. Losing the games at the last anyway, still, you know, he beat be the outside. They already got a manager in as well. Have you seen that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the, the lineup, line the guy, the line the guy. But quick one, guys, now, it's, you know, I want to get to the table now, yeah? And we looked at the top last time. Let's have a look at the relegate. Let's look at the relegation problem that's that, that's going on right, right here still. Yeah. Now, I Newcastle. If you look at their form guide, are gone on with things. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. They've come out and and it was all about Trippier, Trippier, Trippier. But there are you know I did I did feel that before I said it straight away. I've been mean, Eddie Howe's a great fit. Um, I don't, I, you know, I think he's great. I think he's a decent manager. Um, I think they wanted him. You, you, was it Arsenal was talking about him going to Arsenal, Anthony? No. Was Just it? The pre- Just the press. Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. He wasn't going to Arsenal. But their form is ridiculous. In the last five games, they've won four and drew against one. Yeah. And they look like a half decent team now. Right back. But now. Who have they played, though, in them five games? Um, they played Brentford. Woo! No. <laughs> Yo, but you have to beat the teams, Anthony. There's the, I think they played. Um, oh lord, I can't even figure the teams that they played now. But they played. Didn't they beat Villa? The no, is, for me right now, it's not even so much about the team that they played yet. Right? They when you Villa. watch the style of football they're playing right now, there's definitely been an improvement in their game. You can tell the players yeah. a lot more confident. You can tell I, I find that the really got shocking. Them. Mm. Sorry to cut you, bro. Sorry, mm. Karen. No, I, I mean, I think that's much finished, but they, they, I feel that the manager's got them playing properly as a team now. Regardless of what you might think of the players individually, I think they're playing as a team. And they, them one or two um, games that they won built uh, motivation, built um, that kind of thing in them, which makes them think, you know what, we can fight. So you can see that right throughout the, the team, if you ask me. No. Yeah, I hear what you're saying still. I hear what you're saying. But I think for me, they're, they're, not, they're not even playing that geezer they bought from Leon. That's the frightening thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah He's yeah, not even yeah. playing it. Yeah. So you when, know what I mean? So when he gets started. What, what's going to happen when he gets fit in? <laughs> um, Up to St. Speed. Maxim. Yeah, man, it's going to be, it's, they're going to be a good team, man. St. Maxim, and when Callum. When Callum's back as well, that's going to be interesting. Chris Wood, because Chris Wood can't hit a barn door right about now. Mm. And you, you know, know you know he's so, coming to form though, Anthony. Yeah, you know the you know the, you know the fake Brazilian that we've been calling fake Brazilian up there. What's his name? Uh, Joe Linton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the, bro. He's, he's, he's playing showing with, that he's more Brazilian than Fred right now. <laughs> He's playing with food right now, bro, and he's doing the bits in it. He's absolute bits in the field, and he's working hard. That's a joke, bro. He's working hard. He's passing the ball off. He's doing what he's doing, and he scored a head on. I thought, what on earth is going on here? Still, you know I me. Mean? He's getting it, he, and, and you know sometimes managers with a fresh look of a player. Bruce, I think it's Bruce that bought him as a striker. Eddie, Eddie's like, no, 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 no. You're gonna for pay forty-five mil. They bought him as the striker for forty-five mil just let it sink in 
he's, he's, I don't think he's still a 45 million pound player but at least he's doing a job behind and you know that as they're bringing the big, bigger ballers he, he, he might need to go somewhere anyway so yeah but down in the bottom guys yeah we got Norwich you reckon they're gone? Yeah, Norwich are done they're done Okay, what for? Norwich, Norwich were down when they got promoted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Watford? Pretty much so, but a big better ball. I don't think Watson can save them. No, this is when it gets tasty. Burnley? You know, I think the, the dark horse for the relegation. Lampard? I was gonna say Everton. I was gonna say Everton is just there, bro. Like, oh Everton my god, sinking, bro. Everton. I think Everton. I think the heads will drop and everything. But what about Brentford? Brentford sinking as well right now, bro. As well. Mm. Brentford one. It's, it's, it's hard. It's, it's a hard call, man. Because you got, got another Leeds. team there. And you got Leeds as well. Like, can go and get it. Leeds as well. But hopefully, Leeds will get a new manager so they'll start turning things around now. Yeah, man. But the thing is, everything they've got a new manager now, isn't it? So yeah, what's yeah, his name? Marsh. Marsh, yeah, yeah. Marsh is coming. So okay, then. So okay, then. Who's going down, guys? Let me ask the big question. So we, I think we all agree now. He's going down. We all agree. Uh, Watford's going down. It's, it's, it's anyone from Leeds. Call it. Call it, bro. It's, it's, it's um, anyone from Leeds. Um, Leeds, Everton, Burnley. Bradford, yeah, Everton, Burnley, Brentford. Brentford, Newcastle. Nah, I think Newcastle will come out of that. But you know who's not yeah, too Newcastle far off it. Come out of that. I, I think it, the, the bottom three is going to be Burnley, Watford, and Norwich. That's my bottom. Three. You can't see less than Aston Villa getting caught out in it. No, nah. too too good. Too, 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 too. Okay, cool. All right, cool. So we say okay then, Marcus. Are you going for Burnley, Everton, Leeds, or Brentford? So it's, the bottom three for me is Burnley, Watford, and Norwich. Those are the bottom three for me. You can stay Burnley. Hmm. Anthony, you go Burnley the have been, been escaping it for the past two, three seasons. They have they go on like a little run towards the end, but I think this season they're finally, you know, it's, it's a bit much for them this season. I, I see Lennon going on with things of late, and he's getting rekindling his um, old school form there still. You know, so you know, he's, uh, 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 and, 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 he, he's never shown me anything special, even when he was younger. <laughs> and they were and Lennon. Oh, and cool man! And Lennon had had some skills though. He was, had some skills, man. He, he had pace, and that's all he had for me. Nothing else. What well, Tottenham? Come on, man! He was decent down there. I, I never met him. I never Marcus, liked him. Don't argue with the man who wrote Terry Maguire. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible tells you about foolish. Don't. What do you say about proverbs? <laughs> <laughs> oh guys so, when, when you listen I'm, to a fool when you listen to a fool I, 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 I can't wait to next season I, I can't wait to next season it's a start start to fresh with this whole, whole my own Maguire persecution but um bro so, so, so what Aaron is that Maguire we're dealing with relegation Aaron Maguire cannot lay Ben White's boots 50 million snip mates and snip nah, what, what about now Ben White's looking kind of kind of healthy right now you know what I mean a so, snip bro a snip is it? Well, how guys can't even fit in many defenses, bro. But um, even Newcastle's uh, defense. Uh, uh, that's you know the, the funny thing is I was just about to say here, right? For the top five teams, there isn't anyone that I would um, play behind, play Maguire ahead of, in terms of CBs. Bro, you can go lower. You, bro, you can go. You can you can go lower, bro. Because look at even my guy who's gone to Newcastle from Brighton. Um, he's gone there and no, made a big. Uh, hmm? Who's that? Uh, you're taking your mate now. That, that's a bit harsh, that is. You're just keeping it real, bro. Not, not, not the um. You know the big burn. So is it burn? Bro, I know you're on about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're on about. And he's, but he's gone in nah, there. Nah. He's gone in there, and he's just controlled the defence, bro. And they, and they're doing bro, things. Bro, to be fair, it's, it's only Newcastle, bro. To do that, Newcastle. To be fair, Aaron Maguire's doing that. At Man United you know, is a lot of difference, bro. <laughs> a lot of difference. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I, I'm saying, but, um, I'm saying what I say. But what, what are you saying? You're gonna go with the Everton, Anthony? To go down in the fifth bottom for the third team. Yeah. Norwich, Norwich, Watford, and I think Marcus might have called it, you know, Burnley, you know, for true. I think Weghorse Weghorse is banging goals now. As I says, as an outsider, Everton. I wouldn't okay. be surprised if Everton get really sucked in. And you know what, bro? That'll be it. That'll okay. be that'll be that'll yeah, be Deli Ali's gonna be thinking, oh my god, I saw him permanent <laughs> earlier. I mean 
<laughs> yeah, so they came on loan. And Van der Beek gone and gone back to Man United. <laughs> Relegated team and gone back to Man United. <laughs> um, I, 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 I do feel that um, Brentford will get caught out. I think Brentford will get caught out. I think Brentford, as much as I want to say Everton, um, there's just too much quality in that team, man. You know, Richarlison, Deli Ali, you know what I'm saying? Like, for, you, 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 for you, Demare, even Allen, Allen, and and you know what I mean. Pick, you know they got these, they got a good team. You got a solid team. Um, they just need to get it they together. Got the nucleus of a good team. team yeah, 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 mm. yeah. And I think Mina keeps them messing them up because he keeps them coming in, playing good, and then he gets injured with his problem with his, you know, what I mean, hamstring. So he's he's just causing a bit a bit of problem with them defensively. But I do think Brentford, the form they're on now, and they don't even look like they can get out of it. Do you think Ericsson will get them out of trouble? No. There's no one on his level. It's all very well having Ericsson <laughs> there, but who's on his level? Footballing level wise. Tony? No one mm. he's gonna get frustrated. He'll get yeah. frustrated. He's not the player to get the ball and take on five players and bang it in top and top bins, is he? That's the thing, is he's he's a passer. No, but he'll he'll, he'll open he'll open doors that no, other yeah, people can't, can't see. Do, yeah. Can't see yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But no. uh, the thing is Will the doors that he opens, will they see the opening at that door? Because mm. they're not on his level. Yeah. There's certain things that players like Ericsson, they 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 see the play before it happens. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So if he sees the path, yeah, right, and he's putting it yeah, through right. and the striker hasn't read it. Yeah. That's what I used to say. See the pictures? Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah, see man. the pictures? I used to remember the teachers to tell me, no, and I used to know what I wanted to do before I got the ball. Yeah, man, that's the big thing that is. Look around, look around, assess, risk assess, boom. <laughs> risk assess. If my man gives me yeah. the ball, bam, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the kind of mentality you, know, you have to have right across the pitch, bro. Even as a plane as a CB, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I've already eyed my man over there trying oh, no, to exactly like, yeah, hang over there. And I've already said to myself, if the ball comes here, yeah. Yeah. If First the ball time. comes here before before you get it, I'm jetting. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm really thinking that we want the ball still over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to have that kind of mentality. And like, like I said, Erickson has that. It's a case of can the Brentford players, you know, catch his vision? I don't know. That's the thing. That's the question, bro. Because mm. I'm, I'm looking at the games in hands. Brentford hasn't got the games in hand. They've played the most underneath there. And all it takes is for Leeds to win their game in hand over them and they're above them. It takes for Everton to win one of their game in hand and they're, and mm. they're, and they're above them. And you know what I mean? And it's just like, yeah, Brentford, I can see. I can, but I can mm. see Burnley because they got the Weghorst. Weghorst goes banging in his goals. The young guy, you know, is it Sa? Sar? Um, the young, the young uh, black guy that got in their team, Burnley. Uh, Burnley. Yeah, K- Kone. Kone, is it Kone? Is Kone, it Kone? Kone or something like that. Something like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, uh, you, got, you got Lennon there, just doing the little bits and whatever. And they got, they, but they just know what, they just know what to do. I think they just get away with it again. Jay Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They got, they got, they got enough guys up front mm. to, to mess about and and get through. You know what I'm saying? So I reckon we, we might see Leeds going a little run because you always see teams going a little run when a new manager comes in. Man's are looking to impress mm. and get into the squad. So Listen, all there's I the know potential is this. they might go on a little run. I'm not sure. They got no all players, but everyone's this. injured. Who is going to sign Rafina? That's the question. Mm. United. Dream on. <laughs> I know Anthony's been eyeing him over. Anthony's been he's eyeing him over. He's, he's been dead eyeing dead it over Arsenal. He's been eyeing him. We, 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 Anthony was claiming that from from from, from October. He was no, claiming. No. He's, he's, I've been claiming. I just think he's a good player. I don't. I don't think we've got a space for him right about now. To be quite honest, mm. sure? we need. I need. I need someone to go next to um, Thomas Partey. That's what I need. I need. Um, and you need strike as well. Is mm. Basuma would be ideal. Or there's some other foreign cats I've done it. I won't release the names to you players, you you, you guys, because you know, you know, you gotta stay ultra competitive and that. <laughs> yeah, get some Kadir or whatever they're still in the team. But but listen, guys, so we it's official now. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there still, yeah, guys. We we are saying Norwich, Watford, and then it's between Burnley and Brentford going down. Mm. Yeah, I think you called it there, sir. Yeah, man, everyone's happy with that one. So, but listen, guys, this is the end of the show today, guys. Listen, big up to um, is it not on time, yeah, no, 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 a good time. Uh, listen, man, big up I, to I, before you end it. I need to say a quick thing I just see there, bro. <laughs> um, UEFA and thingy have banned like the Russia international club teams from playing the, any of the competitions. Oh, snap! So, like, 
the, the oh. game that um, they got back to play in Poland, that's gone. They don't. They're not even letting their club teams play any kind of like European football either. Because of Zenit St. Petersburg, man, that's a, that's a killer. Yeah, that's mm. Putin, man. Putin's just going into some madness thing, bro. I think he's getting he's getting a bit senile in his old age, man, or something, man. Because like, bro, what he's doing right now, bro, is crazy. But all I want to know, what's the real deal with Chelsea? Yeah, because that is some sub 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 maneuver there with no, Chelsea. No, that, it's not the thing is yeah, right? It, it's nonsense, bro, because Chelsea are a limited club. Do you know what I'm saying? They're not they're not like some of the other teams, they're, they're a limited club here, right? which means that he's always gonna he always has the power. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So his statement actually holds no weight. Yeah. If you understand how limited the limited stuff works here, right? Mm. Regardless of what he's put out, he still owns the club, so he's still running the yeah, club. 100%. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So one of the freeze the assets, which is there, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, which is which is Chelsea. Chelsea should get frozen tomorrow. Your assets, the asset frozen tomorrow, and you can't pay the players. Swift account done because it's coming from Russia. The bank account is not working, bro. You know what I mean? So, like, how are the players getting paid next week? Mm. One more for one, another wolf for the others. You get me still? You know what I mean? So, as far as the cousin, just the Chelsea shut down. But, uh, but that's the way, uh, but, but you know. Chelsea fans will have something different to say on that one. How do you feel about that, Anthony? Abramovich and Chelsea? <laughs> you know what, though? I, I understand their reasoning. And I think, like, there's certain things that they need to prevent. But on the other hand, I, I am one that also likes to argue that let football do its football and let Mm. politics do its politics yeah, man. but yeah, it's man. a hard one where you like they're bringing the thing of like money laundering and stuff like that which some people in the politics might be benefiting from when it comes to football um, but where possible I always say let football just stick to what it's doing and, and deal with the politics outside of that but it's a, it's a difficult one yeah, because from when they're kicking out all the teams in in, in, in Russia now, bro, it's, it yeah, easy. clubs it and yeah. international. That's just that's a massive statement. And they had all the Brazilians, you know, but basically the Brazilians that played for Shatner, the Donetsk, and all them players. They were suffering trying to get out of the country as well, mm-hmm. it? you know what I mean? And uh, and depending on how long this goes on, but you might see a, 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 a big rush of players trying to lead the Russian teams because they know they can't play in Europe and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, now. yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, there's a lot of black players in your Russia, you know, bro. Right. Mm. I love all of them God serve himself right you think it's a Russia idiot <laughs> <laughs> going to country, going to countries that don't bro they just about tolerate black people in them countries tolerate mm. you know I, I, I said I'll put it in the group someone sent me something and they was talking about um, the refugees and the woman saying well Poland the Polish news reporter was saying well we want we want refugees who look like Polish people and can just blend in and you tell no difference. Nah, That's what she was saying on national television. Bro. That's what she's saying on national television, bro. Man's going to brazen like that, bro. Brazen like that. Brazen like that. <laughs> let me hold on. Let me see for time. Bro, this is spe- oh. And the joke is that, <laughs> bro. The world we live in, man. Bro, listen, that, that is absolutely crazy. Yo, Anthony, you really sit, let's put that in the group, man, so we can check it out, man. But listen, guys, I've got to close off this podcast, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we finished almost on time, um, thanks to the um, the news flash that Marcus gave us right at the end anyway. So, yeah. So, listen, guys, mm-hmm. hopefully next time we get some more um, let's champion, up. Champions League. Oh, you just put it into the group. Brilliant. We're just going to get, uh, we'll, we'll check out the uh, Champions League coming up as well. We're going to see if things... Can I just say, before go we go, on. go on. can I just say, Melo, Melo, Man, I'm going to keep coming for you until you come on here and publicly admit that you got it wrong. How dare you go against Killian Super Black Mbappe? How dare you? With with White Boy Haaland, not even a comparison. Brother, have you seen what the Super Boy done again on the weekend? I saw that. Huh? In le- le- league, league. Come own. on, Melo, man. When are you going to bow down and say, kiss the ring, bro? The black man runs this team. <laughs> Super Killian, bro. Me and Roger told you. Marcus told you. I don't know what you're smoking around here, bro, but you need to lay off that that team, fam. <laughs> Super Killian is the way forward. <laughs> Vote and Mbappe. <laughs> yeah, Mbappe for Real Madrid just be man. Listen, guys, nothing but out. Look, that game, did you see what he did over the weekend? Bro, I bro? watched it, bro. I saw, I saw it, bro. Blood, Stupid. You got no manners, bro. Stupid. And you got Messi and Neymar on the team, and they look like normal players on the pitch, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Neymar's dumb, bro. <laughs> 
Neymar's there. Do you know what, bruv? As I told you before, tip, I'm not a betting man. £20, you got a tip. Messi's going back to Barca. Remember I told you, bro? Remember I told you? You mock. Remember I told you? He's going back to Barca. I'm telling you, bro. He's got a link up with Javi. Watch. Danny Alves is there as well. Watch, watch. Watch. Nah, He'll play for free. Nah. He'll play for free. I'm telling you, man. You watch. He's going to go back. Lionel Messi's going to go back and play for Barcelona. If that happens, you guys, we're gonna we really sample this anyway at the end of this show, Mark. Bro, I it. swear to God, if I was, a, I, I'm thinking of, as I'm talking, I'm thinking, why just put a crafty tenor on it? Whatever I win, if it wins, give it to charity. You know what I mean? <laughs> you remind me, you remind me when it's a thousand to one. Yeah, you know I'm saying. But listen, guys, listen. Let's end up the show, man. Everyone's trying to get get a little word in anyway. So yeah, but listen, we're gonna close this off. All the calls over. We have to go. The D kids about to switch off the light. Roger Moore. Here we go. Nothing but love, people. Thanks, DJ Marks and Anthony Young for dropping in with the white words of wisdom, man, for today's show. Big up to the my boys, then. Thanks for watching this content. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also listen to Affinity Extra 24-7 at affinityextra.com. Don't forget to follow us as well on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at forward slash Affinity Extra. If you wish to support us or if you want supporting as an artist, go to our Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash Affinity Extra. And don't forget to be 